Hello and welcome to Post to Post. The cha- huh? Hey, it's Brian Berg. What? You're moving. Hello and welcome to Post to Post, the channel where we discuss all things hockey and all teams. Recently, there was some drama out of Calgary where Brian Burke spoke his mind to a reporter and a few other people, and then the mayor got into it just after that, uh, responding with his comments. I'm here with Jason. He runs our podcast, uh, Post to Post podcast, and we're on iTunes and Google Music and all that good stuff, but he's, he's come on board here for the video today because he likes the finance, he likes the business uh, portion of the game. He's even supporting a, a Calgary lanyard there. Uh, so Jason, thanks for joining me today. And can you just explain the situation just a little bit better to me? Because you, you definitely know more about this than I do. All right, so big picture, the Calgary organization is trying to develop a project called Calgary Next. And it's basically a new superstructure that hoses, or houses a rink, a CFL stadium, and a field hockey team, I believe, or some sort of something like that. So basically they want to do kind of what Edmonton did, but maybe a little bit smaller scale. Okay. So the proposed project was $890 million, I believe, ballpark. And they took it to city council, and it was rejected yesterday, I believe. And I believe the figure was now up to $1.4 billion. So it's, in, it's increased by about $500 million over what the original estimate was. And that's kind of sparked the debate of whether or not tax money should be going into new arenas and new stadiums for you know very lucrative corporations that own sports teams. Yeah, why, why is the average citizen paying for an arena when... The a billionaire, a billionaire owner could could do it. That's so, right. So I the, guess what? There's two sides of the argument here. There's the corporation argument, and then there's the us citizen taxpayer argument. That's right. So. And as you know, being Joe Blows that we are, and like you are probably, you know, the first uh, thought anyone's going to have is saying, "Well, why am I paying tax money for that rich guy to get richer?" And yeah, that's a fair argument. Totally. Uh, what we're going to try to do, even though we're not financial gurus, is we're going to try to make it so we can see both sides. Because there is more to just paying tax money for a rich guy, and we'll get into that. But this all sparked because there was a luncheon going on yesterday with Brian Burke, and he was speaking to some season ticket holders and other people. And one of the season ticket holders spoke up and basically asked, why are taxpayer money going into this new arena? And he got into a little bit of a heated argument with Brian Burke, actually. And basically, it came across as Brian Burke threatening to move the team, even though he's not able to do that. But... I know the CEO of the team has spoken about it before, and basically Brian Burke just reinstated that the CEO won't threaten to leave, he just will leave if if this arena deal doesn't go through. So obviously some negotiating tactics going on there. And then he started saying things like, you don't think there's another location we'll be able to go. Quebec has a new arena, we'll go there, or we could go there. Number one, Quebec's on the East Coast. And number two, Gary Bettman is not going to let a West Coast team move to the East Coast. Not, not at this time. There's, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Like no Co- way. Quebec no offered way. $500 million U.S. to have a team, and they were turned down. Yep. The NHL does not want another team in the East right now. No, they need to, they need to fix the balance situation. Say Seattle's going to get a team as soon as they have a viable arena. That's right. So the two questions now are basically, is Calgary going to move? And I'm of the opinion they're not. I'm pretty sure you are as well. 100% no. I will bet my life that Calgary will not move. And the second question is the age-old debate of should taxpayers like us and people of Calgary and Alberta should be funding this new arena. And, you know, like we said, the, 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 the initial reaction of most people is saying, no, that guy's rich. This organization's rich. They can do it on their own. And, you know, I agree with that. Yeah, I, totally. I that's a fair argument. The other side is... You have to look at the long-term economic benefits of what this project will do. In the short term, it creates 3,000 construction jobs uh, on site to build this huge facility, and it that will in turn bring in you know more economic development because you know everyone down there has to eat, everyone there has to stay, exactly. things like that. Yeah. Um, they're currently, I think Brian said they're employing about 1,600 part-time people that work during game days, and they have their front office staff and management. And, and there's 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 a lot of people that that organization employs, and mm. and there's a lot of businesses that are in Calgary that depend on those teams because you know game yeah. nights like restaurants, hotels, absolutely. So Brian Burke and the mayor have been getting into a little bit of a fight. They have, yeah. And basically, the mayor came out by saying that you know they don't see the value in in doing that, and and Brian took that to think that 
that the, the Calgary organization doesn't give back to the tax base. And, right. he, and then he started listing off the, you know, our players are some of the highest tax players in the league because it costs more. To, if you live in Canada, you pay more tax. So you have all the player salaries being taxed. You have all their management being taxed. You have all the economic development and stuff outside the arenas like the, the retail and the hotels and the merchandise and all that. So he's saying that we do give back, and that's why he thinks that some of this private tax money should be going or public tax money should be going into the arena. Mm. So it's the debate is should or should not, and I, I can't give an answer. I, I don't know. Yeah, it would be nice to actually hear from people, if anyone is, is watching at home, if they live in Calgary or in, the, in that area, you know, share your opinion down below in the comment section. We definitely want to know how people feel mm -hmm. because, I mean, we're on the other side of the country. We, we live in uh, Fredericton, New Brunswick. There's not a, a professional sports team in in eight hours. Like, we have to drive mm -hmm. we have to drive eight hours to get to the, to the closest team. I think it's either Boston or Montreal, whatever is closer. But, yeah, so it'd be, it would be cool to hear from some local Calgary fans. And See, there's one thought that I had is... If you're a city that doesn't have a professional sports team yet, and you're a big city, let's say, I could see building a new arena for one of those cities because they're going to be gaining money that they don't already have. Oh, yeah, definitely. Calgary yeah. already has, you know, the, the hotels and the restaurants and et cetera, et cetera. So I, I can understand it from that point of view. You know, it's just you're basically upgrading your current facility. So regardless of what happens in the next couple of years or maybe... 10 years from now or 15 years from now, the, the arena needs to be updated. It was built in the early 80s. The Saddle Dome is old. So regardless of when it happens, it needs to happen. The arena needs to be updated or they need to build a new one, something along those lines. So the people of Calgary need to understand this. The people who are 100% against it, they need to understand that it's going to happen eventually, regardless if it's for the Flames or for a future professional uh, league or whatever, it's going to happen. So my question to you is, do you think it happens sooner rather than later, or do you think this keeps getting pushed off and pushed off and, you know? I'm going to counter your question with another question for you. Oh, snap. Do you think the Calgary Next idea gets thrown out and the city agrees to buy just or invest in maybe just a single arena instead of the whole downtown project? Because right now that's the problem is the, the price is too high. It's $1.4 billion or something like yeah. that. So the city doesn't want to deal with that. They're looking to lower that cost. And the only way I can see... That being lowered is A, if the ownership pays more, or B, if the price comes down, which means the size of the project shrinks. And to be honest with you, I see the latter happening more probably. I think the big Calgary next big picture idea, I think they're going to have to scale that back a little bit. Uh, I think they will get a deal done, uh, but I, I don't know. I think Brian Burke is, is like I said, he's an aggressive guy. Mm -hmm. And I think he's hard to negotiate with. I, you're not negotiating with him. It's the CEO you're negotiating with. But, exactly, yeah. But I think Brian Burke kind of shares some of the same opinions as the CEO. He's just more public about it. So uh, they have some things to work out. It will get done. I, I honestly don't know the time frame. Yeah, I mean, they can do it in stages. They could build their rink first and then five years later do the next section of the whole event center or wherever. Mm -hmm. I mean, they can do it in stages. They just need to come to an agreement. Everybody's freaking out now because everything gets blown up and, and mm -hmm. rumors get started and... People automatically assume the worst, but uh, or the worst. But yeah, Calgary is not moving. It's I, very clear this is a negotiating tactic. Absolutely, and it's one that the mayor of Calgary is not buying. Exactly, and good on him for for shooting back at, at Brian Burke and the. Yeah, so I we'll wrap it up there. We definitely want to know what you guys think below. So leave your comments down in the comment section. Uh, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you're new to this channel and you want to hear hockey all the time in future videos, hope, hit that subscribe button. And otherwise, we'll see you in those future videos. Adios. And one of the season took ticked. One of the posts. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Okay, here we go. So this all. <laughs> so I've lost it, man. <laughs> what a blooper you're gonna have. <laughs> oh my god. You get a speech jam. <laughs> Ugh. This could be like a minute long blooper. My face is so red, I need to chill for a sec. Because it's like, look at me, I bet you it's red, I feel like it's no, red. No, it's not. It's not? No. It was at first, it's not now. Okay. Okay, ready? And one of the, <laughs> is, that, is that how he started it? <laughs> oh my god. So in the short term, it imply, it, it <laughs> I'm so tired, I just can't. I'm like dead serious and then I just lose it. You get speech in. So it's gonna happen. <clears throat> All right. There's going to be so many cuts. This is going to be a terrible video. So. <laughs> the amount of cuts in the video tells you how many times you're screwed up. So regardless of what happens in the next couple years. Sorry. <laughs> what? I'm sorry.
Sorry. I finally got it under control. I know, I lost it. So regardless of what happens in it... <laughs> oh, come on. I don't know how you finished, dude. You gotta breathe. You need to leave. give me a minute to breathe here. I like, can't, there's no, there's not enough time. Ready? I don't know. Dude, I'm in one of those moods where I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. So regardless of what happens in the next couple of years, or maybe five years from now... <laughs> Just keep talking, I'm gonna laugh. No. Keep talking. If you can think of something to ask me right... Actually, no, I'm good now. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, you're real good. If you could think of something to get me talking, I think it would fix it. Okay. I just don't know if I can sit here while you talk knowing that I'm trying not to laugh. <laughs>